Hi, uh, this is a short demo on um, a continuous delivery pipeline um, for a Node.js application. We're using some really cool open source technology here. We've got GitLab, uh, GitLab CI also, which is a cool provisioning tool from HashiCorp. Um, a bunch of Node.js development tools such as Grunt, uh, Live Reload, um, and then we're using Puppet at the end to provision up uh, AWS instances. Um, Puppet also provisions Docker containers, and then the whole lot is monitored uh, by C Advisor and load balanced by Nginx. So cracking on here, we've got the project supervisor creating a milestone with a bunch of issues attached to it for the developer. These are all features provided by GitLab. So now we have a bunch of issues for the branding milestone and they're all sitting neatly under that milestone. The developer will have now been notified that there's issues for them to address. So in this stage, um, we've got the developer checking into GitLab. Um, we're going to have a look at all of the issues that are assigned to them. Oh, yeah, and developer one has three issues assigned all on the same milestone. And they're going to create a new branch where they can do all of their work. And on to stage three. So pretty basic stuff, clone the repo, and this is the app file describing the environment for Otto. Compile the app file using Otto, and then ask Otto to spin up a dev environment for us. So this should be everything we need to run our app. And we can SSH into our environment. For the dev stage, Otto has used Vagrant. Stage 4. So this is the stage where the developer is actually modifying code, working on the project that he's been assigned. So let's replace the logo first. Live reload plugin working there, and the logo gets changed. Commit all those changes. Next, let's change the titles. and change the background color. And then let's commit all of those. You can see that um, issue numbers are tagged in there. GitLab will automatically pick up on those and then when you submit a merge request those issues will automatically be closed. And so now the developer makes a merge request to his project supervisor. And the CI build is kicked off there as well. On to stage 5. So this is back to the project supervisor now. And, oh look, the CI build has failed. 
it looks like the developer hasn't checked up on his work. But luckily, GitLab CI has picked up on this for us, and the automated testing stage has found. Oh, look. Okay. We've expected some things to be there that aren't. Right. And this stage is back to the developer, and now the developer needs to fix the test that he broke. So he didn't actually break anything in particular, he just broke some assertions. Back to the editor. Good. Commit that. And taking a soup in there as well. So he'll be notified upon book. So that push should have triggered another test, and the project supervisor can jump into GitLab again, take a look at the merge request assigned to him, have a look at the changes, have a look at the tests again. And we're happy with that. So let's accept this merge request. And you can see that a setting it will close the issue was created. And upon merging to master, a build will be kicked off. So the test stage is running now. And then after that test stage completes, the build stage will start. Uh, so now the build stage is completed, which has triggered Puppet to pick up on the fact that there's a new build artifact. And we can see some changes in Puppet there. And we can see that Puppet has rolled out those changes to Docker. And now we have a finished product. So Puppet's also updated the Nginx config to points those new containers just created.